guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. Today, it is awesome introductions here, but today I'm going to show you this M1 Sherman tank that I built. Uh, I'll put the link in the description for this set just in case you want to buy it. But let's start with the minifigures. So you have, um, first up, the Injured Soldier, which I think is really cool and good for stop motions. You know, like when you want to show someone being shot and then the medic coming and helping him. I think that's a really good minifigure for that. Next is the, my favorite soldier. Actually, it's supposed to be the officer, so please don't criticize me for this. But anyway, uh, I think he's pretty cool. He's got the little tie, if you can see it. I don't think you can, but he's got the little tie over there. Uh, and then the attachable bayonet on his gun, if that's really cool. Then you have just a regular U.S. soldier with the this gun. I think he he's pretty cool. Not gonna lie, I think he's maybe one of my favorite soldiers that I've I have. But um, then there are other guns. Oh, and then here we have the officer. We have the officer who is. Supposed to be just like the tank driver, but I thought he'd look, you know, good as the officer. Um, then, other guns that I could not put on the minifigures because I already had this one. This one. And then we have a whole pack. Oh, machine gun. If the, if the ammo clip is... No, wait, the ammo clip's on there. But So then a bunch of other guns. We have a pistol, a trench bone knife. Binoculars, another pistol, a grenade, and a smoke grenade. But now getting to the tank, we have a 360 rotating um, uh, top. Uh-oh, hold on. This usually rotates. I don't know what's happening. Hmm, it's odd. Whatever. Um, uh, you got the little machine gun. And well, my favorite part is this: these two things. They like come out. They come out. They like come up, so you can, so you can uh, put your minifigure in there to fire the machine gun. Oops, it's not very stable. Um, again, I'll put the link in the description just in case you might want to buy this. Uh, it's actually a pretty cool set, but only thing I'm warning you is that. Uh, and if and again, in, in, if your stop motions, you wanna make it like they blow up. This comes off automatically. But uh, one thing that I was about to warn you when this came off was that the treads. Yeah, as you can see, they they don't really work. Um, but uh, you know, that's okay because the rest of the set is pretty. Cool. Uh, I think it's a big score. Now the cost. Oh, that's it's a bit. It makes this the set itself seem not as worth it, but it, it is. Uh, Forty-five bucks. Eh. Sometimes you think like kind of a steal, and other times you're like, oh, that's so expensive. Why am I even thinking about buying this? But um, I do advise you to buy it. It's a pretty cool set. My favorite part, is, uh, one of my other parts is that they have the shovels on the back and then this little other machine gun over here. And also, if you want to get into your tank, lift these up. Now, this is a bit, I don't advise you to do this when you have it and if you want to make a video on it, but this comes off. And you can look at the interior. Not the best interior. Not the two seats over here. The officer seat. Uh, but it's still a cool set to have. In, 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 if you want to make a stop motion. I feel like tanks are sometimes the key part in making your stop motion uh, one little touch better. I feel like it gives it that, like, World War II action, if you know what I mean. Um, uh, but that's pretty much all for today. Thank you guys for 
for watching. Uh, I love the support. Uh, it's always nice to know you guys are out there somewhere. Watching my videos makes me feel good. Um, but yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Uh, U.S. Sherman Tank. And I will put the link in the description. Um, uh, yeah, that's it. Bye, guys. Peace out.